See, I think chemistry is a magic field. You take two things, you take some iron filings and some copper sulfate solution, and that's a blue solution, and the iron filings are nothing much. You throw them together and suddenly the iron is covered with copper metal and the blue solution has turned clear. It's magic. <laughs> it's so exciting. You feel as if you're a magician operating in the world to create things that never existed before. And yet they're interesting and sometimes they're important. You know? So I'm now 85 years old and I could have been retired forever before, you know, 85, you know. And I'm teaching this special course that I give for incoming kids who had super preparation in high school and therefore can jump right into something that would normally be a sophomore or junior level thing in the college. And it is, would you have more water around than CL minus? I take it as my responsibility. A lot of people don't. They say, to you, well, kid, well, you just, if you can't, if you can't do it, then you're finished. I, I take it as my responsibility. Oh, you know, the closer things are, the more you see them, right? Not only because there could be many neutron stars out there, the one that's closest to us will dominate. I taught a guy to do what he did. He went off and he got, won himself a Nobel Prize. You can see the effect you have on these kids. I thought it was ridiculous that a girl who wants to come into Columbia could not come here. Well, I mean, I produced the, the study that said we could do it and Barnard would not be damaged. But what I did was to say, okay, you all, including the president, was saying he was afraid if we went co-ed, Barnard would die. And so I said, okay, let's find out. And I went through place after place and everyone, everyone said, they all said when the men's college went co-ed, they knew it was going to be the end of the women's, women's college, and it never was. Finally, Mike Sovereign, I, I wrote this all up, and so he looked at it and he said, you know, this is pretty convincing. And so the trustees read it and they said, you know, this is pretty convincing. And they said, it's okay, so let's do it. See, my feeling is that Columbia is enormously better by having women in Columbia College. I think so. And the first year, 45% of the entering class were women. Wow. And four years later, they had won all the prizes. I'm counting on you to be one of those people <laughs> who wins all the prizes <laughs> because you seem to be extremely good. Friends, some friends of mine, brilliant people, say they're quitting. And I say, why? And they say, because they don't think they have good ideas anymore. And that is a criterion that you have to always be ready for. But frankly, I think what we're working on right now is really cool. And, and I'm publishing things every once in a while. I would, when we send it into the, pay, the to the journals, people say, this is really great stuff. We've never heard of this before, you know, et cetera. So as long as that's going on, it's okay. It's fun. It's okay.